Morgan Wallen gave his first interview since a video surfaced in February showing the singer using a racial slur. The video was reportedly filmed by his neighbors and later turned over to TMZ, who published the footage. Wallen sat down with Good Morning America host Michael Strahan to discuss the incident, where he revealed he checked himself into rehab, donated $500,000 from the proceeds of his album sales to various groups, and sat down with various organizations in an effort to make amends and educate himself. Wallen said he understands that some people still won't support him regardless of his apology. I understand that, that I'm not ever gonna make you know everyone happy. I can only come tell my truth and, and that's all I know to do. Morgan went on to describe how he learned the video would be published. My manager called me probably two hours before before the video came out. You know, he's like, "Are you sitting down?" One of my friends has a house, you know, out in the out in the middle of nowhere, and just sitting in that house trying to figure out what it is I'm supposed to do. He continued saying the use of the word was playful, though he now knows it was wrong. In our minds, it's playful. You know, I don't I don't know if that's that sounds ignorant, but it, that's really where it came from. And, and, it's, and it's wrong. Morgan revealed he met with multiple organizations in the wake of the video being released. BMAC is one of the first organizations that I spoke with, uh, the Black Music Action Coalition. I spoke with Kevin Lyles, I spoke with Eric Hutcherson, with B.B. Winans is another one that I, that I spoke with. The singer added that he checked himself into rehab and spent 30 days in San Diego, California. I went and checked myself into rehab. And for, for 30 days, I spent some time out in San Diego, California. You know, just trying to figure it out. Why, why am I acting this way? Do I have an alcohol problem? Do I have a, a deeper issue? Wallen revealed he donated $500,000 from the proceeds of his album sales. We tried to, to calculate what the number of how much it actually spiked, you know, from this incident. And we got to a number somewhere around $500,000. and. We decided to, do to donate that money to, to some organizations, BMAC being the first one. That's all for now. For the latest news and updates about your favorite country music artists, be sure to subscribe with notifications on.